How are you adjusting so far, you know, just to college life in general? Uh, so far, it's been great. I mean, these guys included me right away. The first day here, they came up and shook my hands and made me feel welcome. And, uh, you know, my roommate, Mark, and everyone is, you know, introduced me to everyone. And, I feel like I haven't missed a beat. Um, you know, we get up and go into class is a little different because I didn't have to do that this past semester when I was doing online school trying to get here. But, um, you know, I guess the biggest adjustment so far is just finding a place to park. <laughs> uh, you know, you, uh, I think one of the other guys, uh, I think maybe Kevin Copps had mentioned, you know, he thought you might take a take a little bit to adjust to pitching, you know, at this level, but seemed to not have skipped a beat. You know, what's been the key to that? Have you even surprised yourself how quickly you've adjusted? Uh, well, I, I worked a lot uh, with my hitting coach back home this past offseason, uh, Jeremy Jones. He's a great hitting coach. Um, and uh, we go to him every day, and we corrected a lot. And then when I got here, uh, Coach Thompson helped me fine-tune some things, and I feel like that's helped me a lot. But, um, you know, these, these pitchers, they're really, really good and they just they love to attack you with their best stuff and uh, when they're in the zone you have to basically get your best swing off somehow and you don't get very many chances with these guys and so you, you really can't miss and uh, I had a decent weekend last weekend but um, you know success yesterday has been success yet. I think you I saw you play in Monday scrimmage you hit an opposite field home run is that something you see yourself doing or do you see yourself more as a kind of hit for average guy or? Oh uh, we'll find out. I mean, um, high school is a little bit of everything. I feel like I can do a lot of stuff with the bat. I, I can run, hit and run, uh, manipulate the bat in multiple ways. Uh, I feel like I got some juice gap to gap. Um, but you know, the thing is just square balls up. You square balls up with decent velocity and it'll go. Um, so just keeping it simple and working with Coach Thompson. And, uh, so we'll find out. I think when we talked last, you know, we weren't sure, you know, if you were going to come in and compete for a starting job right away, but now it looks like you're probably slotted in at second base. Has that kind of added any pressure knowing you may be an opening day starter? Um, I don't know about that. I mean, just, you got to earn it every day. And um, like I said, success yesterday doesn't mean success today. You got to go out and compete. And it's very competitive. Yeah. You know, um, you know, watching guys on TV the last couple of years is one thing. And then you get here and you realize everyone is so, so good. And, and practice how competitive everything is. And, um, you know, how good the infield and outfielders are at defense. I mean, watching Cole at first base is... He's honestly probably the best first baseman I've ever uh, played with or played against. And, um, you know, obviously Casey is behind the plate is insane. And, uh, watching Martin work out the past couple weeks and how rangy he is and um, how skilled he is. And Nesbitt at third base. And Nesbitt never makes a mistake. And our outfielders are so good. I can't even start with them. So, um, you know, it's just all about fitting in. What's, what's that double play relationship you got going with, with Martin so far? How's that going? Uh, my part's easy. I just have to get it to him. <laughs> so he'll make the play. So, um, like I said, he's, he's really, really good. Uh, he might be the most toolsy player I've ever you know, seen or played against. So as long as I just get the ball to him, give him the hard part, he'll make the play.